Anyway, I think uh, Tua Tagovailoa was born maybe a little bit later. He's a young man, unlike my old self. Let's turn our attention, go from Dallas all the way to Miami. I want to welcome in a couple of my buddies. Cameron Wolf, who is, of course, based in Miami and very, very in tune with everything that's going on with the Dolphins. And then Mark Ross joining us from Parts Unknown with that very, very colorful <laughs> shirt. He is our front office expert. I want to go from the big contract that CeeDee Lamb has wanted and has not yet gotten to Tua Tagovailoa, Cam. And, and obviously, this has been a storyline we've been discussing the last several months. We saw last week Trevor Lawrence got paid 55 million dollars per year so then we got to ask about Tua what is the latest on his situation yeah Ian the Dolphins and Tua Tungavailo's agent Ryan Williams continue to discuss a long-term deal nothing done yet but I'm told it's the Dolphins number one priority and there's still hope from both sides to get a deal before the start of the regular season but seeing quarterbacks like Jared Goff and Trevor Lawrence get those huge 53 to 55 million dollar a year and new money deals only adds to the urgency the last time we spoke to Tua a couple of weeks ago at Dolphins minicamp he struggled to find a word to describe his emotions before settling on antsy and he also said the market is the market in regards to golf's extension. Look, Tua is probably the most polarizing quarterback I've ever covered in terms of public opinion, but his numbers tell the story. He played all 18 games last year, staying healthy, led the NFL in passing, led Miami to a number one passing offense. Really, he's in the market as far as stats of the golf and the Lawrence's. The next mark is training camp six weeks away. It was notable that he did practice during the spring, but didn't do 11 on 11 drills. If it's not done by then, this that continue into training camp all of Miami star players have been vocal to a needs to be paid including Tyree kill and so I don't think there's any concern from what I hear uh, but ultimately they have to get this deal done and I think they will before the start of the season. Yeah, I 100 percent agree with you that they have to get it done and they will get it done and despite all the consternation and polar polarizing opinions about Tua, whoever the next quarterback up is they get Paid. And it doesn't matter if you're better than this guy or that guy, unlike we were, what we're seeing in the wide receiver market where there still is a little bit of that, well, what is the true value? With the quarterback, it's just the next guy up. It's just like going to pay gas for your car. Whatever the price is, you're going to pay it. You may complain, but you're going to put gas in your car. And we, I was a part of, in 2015, talking about a polarizing quarterback with Eli Manning when we gave him that four-year, $84 billion extension at the time, that $21 million a year tied Aaron Rodgers for an NFL record. And, of course, people were saying, well, Eli's not as good as Aaron Rodgers. Why are you paying him? But kind of on the front edge of what the trend is now, Ian, of if you got a guy, you got to pay the guy. Because if you don't pay him, then where do you go? So that's where it is right now with the quarterback market. And I'm in Dunn, North Carolina at my niece's house, an old Confederate soldier's house. This was on the wall when she bought the house. It's out of two, three hundred years old. I don't know how old this house is, but it's old, it's beautiful, and it's historic. And it's my niece, Jerry, in Dunn, North Carolina. Anyone want to visit? Well, that was very heartwarming. The shirt, much more colorful than that painting behind you, but still very lovely. Uh, Mark, Cam.